morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're headed down for our last breakfast at the Holiday Inn. Mm -hmm. Got a, some extra stuff that <laughs> we're going to leave in the hiker box they have here for people coming in and out. Yeah, pretty and cool they have it down there. Jason will be here in about 45 minutes. Get us back to trail, so. Stuff our face real fast. And yeah, pack with calories so we don't have to stop and then uh, go get to it. I sang a little ode to the toilet today because I was glad we could use the bathroom before we left. <laughs> Yeah. Here we come, trail. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll show you when we get out there. Just got dropped off at Indian Grave Gap. About to start our first ascent this morning up Trey Mountain. It's a doozy, too. <laughs> we saw it from the road. Jason was like, there's Trey Mountain right there. <laughs> we were like, oh, that's it, the biggest one around. And it is cold. Yeah. Um, got the gloves out, and I am not coming out of my coat yeah. yet. So, we uh, have to get my pack on, pour out some water. We're going to fill up in a mile and not carry four pounds of water. Um, <laughs> this is it. Just get started. So, we'll uh, show you along the way. <laughs> and away we go. I'm over here dying at Chad. Let me see this. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Represent sorry, America. America, all the way, baby. Here I we think go. You got my trekking pole. <laughs> yeah, I do. Here we go. It'll take about five minutes, and then we'll have to stop. <laughs> take all this off because we're sweating. Man, how pretty. What? I got this thing too tight. Those little uh, knee supports she's got. I got them on Amazon for like $9. And they help so much. With just uh, just general, if you're not injured, don't need any major IT band support or anything. Highly recommend them. Look how pretty this is. Yeah. We made it to the first of three fall summit. I guess the I guess the last one's actually real. Just step off. Somebody's coming. We uh, made about 500 feet of gain already this morning. Uh, good morning. See the tags. We'll be seeing you on trail. Yeah. Number one of the three summits here. <laughs> but uh, we just stopped to. 
uh, catch our breath and blow our nose. <laughs> <laughs> Good old hiker nose. That's what we call it. It's cold. And yep. Nose is pouring. But uh, that's the thing, Trey Mountain. Um, it has, I guess you'd say, two false summits and then the real one. But yeah. we're, uh, we're cruising. <laughs> feeling pretty good i'm sweating way more than i wish i was in this cold wind but just part of it uh, i'll flip you around here show you a little bit the summit just got flat for a bit so we're thankful for that there's a water source up here we may check out but i think we're we're good for a while so just gonna keep cruising Wet spots on the shirt get cold yeah. fast. <sighs> yeah, it's the wind for sure. sure that was a big climb even though it was only 500 feet it was nearly straight up yeah stay out son oh that feels good you gotta stop stop soaking in a little bit of that oh, you can feel how warm. yeah it's gorgeous day dry this shirt out not that fast the wind will get it before <laughs> That's the thing. It's always a, it's always a game of, you know, you start cold and you start hiking. And your gloves are too hot and you take them off. And your hat's too hot. And you constantly, constantly shedding layers, and then you stop for ten minutes to kind of refuel, drink, blow your nose and stuff, and you're freezing. And you really want to put everything back on, but. You know you can't <laughs> just stop in 10 minutes, take it back off. Right yeah. Yeah, a little green tunnel. It's like some more campsites up here. That's probably where the water is. Yeah, you can see some good flat spots. People have been camping. <sighs> Step off trail here. So yeah. Nice little sitting area. Enough room for quite a few tents. tempting to get in that 20 degree bag and <laughs> cuddle up but yeah here's the blue blaze for the water bag water that way all right, I'm going to get off here for a second and check far out and see how far the next water source is. Yeah. That way we don't have to do this climb up tray for this next summit uh, with full load. Check in in a bit. I don't know if you can hear it, but we're definitely in the 
25 to 35 mile an hour wind part as we get close to the top. And it dies down as soon as I start videoing. Chance that it sound like the ocean. Get back on my trekking poles. We got quite a climb. Some of the wide loads sticking out here. Hey, there's more. We're just uh, about 800 feet up from where we began. Came across this spot where the sun's kind of. Yeah. And you get here and you think, oh, it's flat. We made it. But we're on the second false summit. Yeah, I, I just screenshot uh, where we're at, actually. We still got about as much elevation gain as we've already done today. Probably another it got me. 800 feet. So. I thought we were, I thought this was it. You can't even see any more of the mountain. So we had to head up that way. There's the next blaze. And uh, I don't know if maybe, maybe if that's maybe the peak up maybe. there. But flat. definitely about halfway Here, to the I summit. Got your pose. You so. Because I'm thinking maybe that we have a well, flat uh, spot to walk on. We'll check back in here shortly, but we're definitely not staying on top of the mountain tonight. <clears throat> the wind to be even worse, so we're gonna at least come halfway we'll down. Get snow. <laughs> I could do without snow. I don't wanna wake up with everything wet in the morning if possible. Yeah, I think that peak over there is going to be it. Pretty day though. If the wind would lay down, it'd be perfect. Well, I we just found the view. some really pretty flowers blooming. Gotta get moving. Okie dokie. Oh. Yep. <laughs> After you, my dear. You wanna put the phone back? Okay. Well, my <laughs> hands are cold. <laughs> Should have your gloves on. Mm -hmm just made it to Trey Gap. You can't hardly see it. Let me zoom up here with my nose as I have gloves on. I'm coming to see some vehicle on two motorcycles, two dirt bikes right there. But just made it to Trey Gap. Uh, 
Uh, we've already apparently did 1.7 today. And uh, we haven't even begun our ascent we showed you all ago. So we're still kind of on flat ground, making it uh, up here. I assume when we cross this road, we'll start going straight up. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty aggressive climb. Any gloved up, but as I was saying, we're at Trade Gap. There's a little parking area here. From what Jason told us, our shuttle driver, this is really hard to get to. Um, the rate to shuttle to Trey versus uh, Indian Gap by the Hiawassee is about double. Um, it's an hour ride of this. He said it's super washed and stuff, so um, just so you know, if you're, you know, looking that far out and you see that you could, you know, slack pack this area or you just want to jump up to this area, just know that uh, some shuttles won't even do it and those that will are going to be substantially more expensive. Uh, This is it. Last push to the top, at least for Trey. And uh, we'll get up there and regroup. We're definitely descending at least halfway down. And uh, then we'll make a plan from there. So. I don't think this has been. I don't think this has been as bad as uh, as Rocky Mountain. No. Or Sassafras. So. Well, and it's because you're just so out of shape in the beginning. Yeah. Sassafras but, was rough. Ramrock was rough. This isn't switchbacks, but it's also not straight up no. like Sassafras. I mean, there were sections of Sassafras that yeah. you were just looking straight up where you were going. Sorry. Tad is out here. Just got signal on his phone. <laughs> and he's taking care of our son's car issues that he had. Uh, putting a new alternator on. So thank God we were going up the mountain and got signal. Cause, and now we can pay and he can go pick up his car. <laughs> you at home or you work? Uh, well, um... Uh, they just got your car finished, uh, so you can go pick it up any time you want. And uh, they got what? It just started snowing a little bit. <clears throat> I've had a few flurries hit me up here. Uh, well, I paid for it, and uh, they got your receipt. Can you see this? It's snowballs. <laughs> oh, 
This is a precursor as to what the evening is going to be like, looks like. Look at this, it's showing up on my sleeve. Mmm. Cold. Yeah. And you want to stop and sit down, and I was going to sit down. Are you sitting down? Yeah. For a second. Just pull your anchor out. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing playing. <laughs> Stop recording. Okay. Thanks, but no thanks. Sat down for just a minute, and I do mean minute. And Chad <laughs> got a snack out, and uh, he said it's frozen. So. Yeah. <laughs> is it good? Uh, no. I mean, flavor's good. I can't hardly get it. Well, maybe the next time we want a snack, we think about this ahead and put it in our pocket and then it'll warm up. It's like a popsicle, lemon popsicle now. <laughs> yeah. And your, your nose is running. Uh -huh. <laughs> it'll be an icicle in a minute. Haven't, haven't videoed much on the ascent since our, our little snack break we're almost to the top here but finally got into some trees where it's not as windy what silver lining we didn't break a tooth on our treat yeah yeah <laughs> that was hard i think we're getting uh pretty close to the top we got another switchback to go, so who knows, but pretty neat Ooh. spot here. Where are you going? Oh, wow. Is it worth it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got my gloves on, so the Zoom is going to be kind of jerky. I'm actually doing it with my nose. Uh, man. It's way prettier than it looks in the camera. Try not to drop you like last time. These gloves are slick. So you don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't
think, I think, again, we've reached the summit. Here's our blaze. snow flurries again. That's cool. A really long ascent um, but not as hard and straight up as what you would get somewhere else right but really yeah. long yeah like, you just never stop climbing yeah like she kept teasing you we, we get somewhere and be like oh so yeah. got somewhere else to go but so yeah. good where we made it I mean see what the descent's like yeah yeah, this is the part, as I've said many times, that I'm always nervous about. This is the scent. And there's the survey marker. Alright, we stop to take a couple pictures. See what the descent's gonna look like now. It's like somebody huddled down right there. Yeah, it should be ever so many miles. Probably came, I don't know, three or four hundred feet down the mountain and just listen. It's not a leaf moving. We were like in a tornado at the top and now it's dead still. It's perfect. Still warmer. Right up here, up this part of the mountain, is a trail to the shelter and the water source at the very top. We decided we're gonna we're gonna do the 1.8 down the mountain to the next water source, and we still both have a leader, and it's uh, only two o'clock, so we're not ready to sit Stop in the tent freeze. all night. So. No, I feel uh, good today too. Like we just did did that. Yeah. And I feel good. This is yeah. encouraging. And I feel like after this stint, it's going to be a little bit better. So 
I can't be more happy about this. So. Anyway, we just had to show you. Or hopefully you can hear nothing. It's just dead silent. Not even a bird. All right. Back to it. Just stopped and do some stretches as you just saw on that little time lapse. Jenny's knee is bothering her pretty bad. So we're gonna sit and take a little break and hopefully this, uh, get her going again. Have some Laura Bar banana bread. That's really good. Uh, this beautiful view that this side of the camera don't really show well, so I have to look <laughs> it around. But sun's peeping out. It's nice. I'm really happy with these frog tall things. Granted, we ain't been in rain in them yet, but as far as a windbreak and they're like not getting too hot and sweaty, yeah. like these are great. Yeah. We got about a mile and a half left to our next water source. So we're going to chill a bit, give the knees a break, and continue on. Mm -hmm. Catching a bit. Cowboy camp here? Ooh, back in the cold and the wind. We're uh, 0.6 from our next water source. We just came down this mountain here. We're supposed to be in a steady descent, but we're fixing to go up. So I don't know, but. Barely over half a mile left, and we'll be at water. Then we're going to look for a camp after that. So uh, we'll show you. We'll show you where we're going to camp here shortly. So, so we just hiked uh, point one down this mountain uh, to this water source, and we're actually just going to set up here and cook dinner and filter our water for tomorrow and uh, you know clean up and all that there's a camp spot at the top of the hill and so we're just gonna get everything out of the way getting water eating washing hands all that brushing teeth and then we'll climb back out of here and go set up our tent and chill for the evening so beautiful little spot we were really hoping that um there would be some kind of um campsite down here but it's not flat and there's just undergrowth everywhere so you're not really supposed to make new campsites on the at so we're honoring that and i'm gonna go back up to yeah it's, yeah there's no wind down here so that's really why we was hoping there would be a little developed spot down here somewhere, but hadn't seen anything so far. So anyway, I'm gonna get to it and uh, get to cooking so we can get up there and set up for the night. Oh goodness. One meal and a view and hardly any wind. Blessing.
it's a gift to be right here. Hopefully nobody comes down because we're here kind of taking up the whole spot here. Oh. That little buff on your ears has worked out for you today. Yeah. That's why I have pigtails. Part of the reason. Otherwise, it would be a rat's nest. Hmm. coming up uh, a little bit further than the water um, we thought it might have been a mistake right because <laughs> uh, down there by the water is a big open area for camping and stuff so but it was windy yeah. it was. And, uh, so we kept coming I don't know how far do you think we went up this hill I to a really? Probably. Well, and then we found this little spot uh, and it's got foliage around it so that we can stay out of the wind and that's what we were wanting. So I think it'll be perfect. So this is the trail, that's how close we are. I don't think we've camped this close to the trail before, but we saw an opportunity and we took it. <laughs> and we're facing getting our sleeping bags now that we ate and everything. And we're going to put our bear canisters somewhere safe and hop in and get warm. Man, what a day. We, uh, I just looked, we ended up doing 5.7 up and over Trey Mountain and down to the valley to get water. And then now we're on the peak of the next mountain. I don't even know what the name of it is. We haven't but, looked at our phone yet, but uh, we, we were, got some of these deals. This is going to help tonight. <laughs> heat, heat patches, so that's, I'm excited about that actually. <laughs> We were only going to go um, four miles because the place we're going next around the bend, our uh, cabin isn't available till Sunday. So we broke it up. We're only going to have to do four miles a day. And since this was the hardest section, just kind of take the pressure off. But, you know, when you're going water source to water source and then trying to get out of the wind, uh, you do what you do, so. And we could have done it. Like, we could have done this in a, like, a shorter period of time, but to me. Yeah, we just didn't know. No, we didn't know, but Everybody also. Everybody kept telling us this is the hardest section. Yeah. Of all of Georgia. We, it is hard. It was hard, but. but it, it ain't harder it. than I mean, Rocky Mountain or no. what we just did, so. But, I mean, it was, it's important for us to go to the Around the Bend Hostel. So, yeah. that was the day that was open, and we wanted to make it an effort to go there just because we've seen it. Yeah, and we want to video it. Yeah. We want it to be part of our our journey, our memories. Yeah. Uh, it's something we wanted to experience on the way. Yeah, and so, so I mean, yes, our knees are still bothering us some, especially at the end of the day, um, but... <laughs> but nothing like it was in the beginning so nothing uh -huh. that we can't manage um and yes the miles we feel like our legs are getting stronger and the miles are going to come um but i mean we're also the smell the roses kind of people and yeah. we're about the journey just as much as we are about the destination so um it's important to us to stop and and to see and do and um and as far as like you know the through hike situation 
I hope we get there and if we run out of time, we can flip flop and come back and finish and do all that, you know? So, uh, no sweat. We're just going to enjoy the journey and yeah. we'll see what happens. You're not promised tomorrow. No, you're not. So we're going to enjoy today. Mm -hmm. so, but we're going to sign off here because, uh, it's getting cold fast and we're going to get in these liners and bags and, uh, chill read a little or listen to a little of our audio book mm -hmm. and wind down so we will see y'all in the morning uh as we continue on to dick's creek, creek. Uh, hope you have a good night thanks for watching please subscribe and hit the like and bell and all the things uh, thank y'all appreciate you <laughs>